previous lecture, we talked about the assignment problems. Uh, we talked about the uh, problem assignment problems without having, you know, uh, much complexity or difficulty. We straight away allocate individual jobs to individual shop or its corresponding shop. And, and uh, sometimes we may encounter uh, multiple allocations possible. So we cannot allocate uh, multiple allocations to a single uh, destination. So instead, we will be, uh, you know, using a procedure called Hungarian algorithm. So this is the Hungarian algorithm. So based on which we'll eliminate the uh, redundant allocations, which is uh, the allocation that does not have any uh, significant meaning. Say, for example, in this case, um, uh, even though there's an allocation in this uh, J1 is to W4, but possibility of J is also J3 is also there for W4. So that is uh, redundant. Since we select this, so this will become redundant. So in order to find out the redundant and eliminate that, we use a procedure called Hungarian algorithm. So that's it, pretty simple. And uh, we'll now talk about unbalanced uh, assignment problems. Sometimes uh, we might encounter uh, non-square matrix assignments. Like for, as I told you, assignments to be, uh, you know, two by two or three by three or four by four. It should be a square matrix. But sometimes we might encounter, like in this case, we have got four jobs, uh, but the destination or the working place for uh, executing the uh, particular uh, job is like five in number. So it means the destinations are more than the uh, source, something like that. Or this is the uh, uh, the uh, demand and this is the supply. So the supply is more than the uh, demand. Right. So in this case, we cannot execute directly the uh, unbalanced transportation problem. Uh, but instead, we can do one thing like what we do uh, similar uh, in, in uh, transportation problem. In a transportation problem, when the total supply is not equals to total demand, uh, we have either uh, incorporated a, a dummy row or a dummy column, depending upon where the deficit is. Like, for example, if the column uh, sum is not uh, equal or less than the uh, row sum, then we'll be adding a particular column, extra column, called dummy column. In other case, in uh, when the rows are not, uh, you know, the row sum is not equal to the sum of all the rows sum is not equal to the col sum of all the columns, and then we'll be adding an extra row with the dummy variable, and we'll allocate that particular missing value in the uh, particular, you know, entity, right? So, so that's the case. But in assignment problem, we don't have anything to be calculated based on the uh, you know the supply or the demand but instead uh, when uh, you find a shortage on particular things so in this case uh, the number of row is uh, just you know four whereas the number of column is uh, five so we need to add uh, five minus four which is one particular row right so we'll be adding one particular row so here it is the dummy row so we'll put all this to be a zero Right, something like that. Sometimes people they say uh, instead of zero they can put infinity also. So either way it's the same. So zero uh, does not make any significant or something like that. Right. So unless or some people can put not a number also because that does not comes into uh, consideration. But in most of the literature people prefer to have it zero. Right. So so that the computation is fairly. Uh, you know, no change at all. Say, for example, 80 minus 0 is still 80. So that does not make any significant difference, right? So people prefer this dummy row. And then they carry out the procedure, right? So they perform the row reduction, column reduction, then row scanning and column scanning. And if you get uh, all uh, zeros, uh, which is having no interference with the other rows and columns, is fine. Otherwise, you perform Hungarian algorithm to eliminate the redundant conditions or something like that. So this is one example. And the next example is um, the uh, number of jobs required is more when compared to the number of supply, right? So in the in assignment problems, you cannot uh, give a multiple uh, supply uh, to a single entity, right? Say in that case, even though it's it has got only three, uh, uh, you know, the uh, destination, we cannot have uh, this four merged together or something like that. Put two in one and another individual entity in other two. It's not possible. So in that case, we'll be incorporating a dummy column. 
fan base will look into uh, you know the sense that uh, it becomes a balanced or a balanced assignment problem right uh, but if you take a look at this example uh, we have got only four uh, you know kind of a demand versus supply is fine but it's it's fine uh, because uh, even if you put a dummy uh, you know um, uh, job so that it goes any of these workers so it is automatically nullified so our all four jobs get done by this four uh, stuff but when you talk about uh, the other case in this case the number of jobs are pretty high the shop is pretty less so which means that we have to invariably forego a particular job so one job out of this may not be done because that gets allocated to a dummy stuff right so that's one uh, practical difficulty so in a formulation of an assignment problem one should really look into a matrix square matrix uh, but in case also uh, if you end up with this thing so you can make it a square matrix by providing appropriate rows and appropriate columns something right so this is all about unbalanced transportation problem and this is pretty similar to our unbalanced uh, you know transportation problem so in an unbalanced assignment problem we have got uh, any one is less than the other so either supply is greater than the demand or demand is greater than the supply so it is like uh, uh, not a square matrix so in order to accommodate into a square matrix we'll be looking into uh, you know the additions of uh, dummy rows or columns depending upon the situation right 